Hey, hey, hello everybody. Welcome to Wild Wednesday where we share words of wisdom. We are outside today, this beautiful day. You may hear some trucks and cars and stuff pass by, but don't mind the noise. I just wanted to just kind of be out here and enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day. But my topic or our topic for today is stop always looking for handouts. Okay, stop looking for handouts and, and the reason why I say this is because we as black Americans and I know how we are we we have been oppressed so for so long we have been without for so long we were not privileged as our um, white counterparts you know they have had what we call white privilege and they have you know different things allotted to them monies uh, inheritances that uh, they have passed down from generations to generations that, you know, corporations, businesses, you name it, land, properties, you name it, um, have always been in their hands because I think we never were in the place where we could be competitive uh, during those times that they were grabbing everything because when they founded America, of course, you know, the, America was built off the, the backs of the black man. The, the backs of our ancestors. And so we came and did all this work, but we were never really compensated. You know, we, we ended up being enslaved. And, and so then they still, when it was time to uh, grant us our freedom and liberty from enslavement, they still wanted to enslave us. Why? Because that kept them ahead. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, compare one apples and oranges. I'm not trying to go against them and, you know, do all this black power lives movement, all this kind of thing. But what I'm saying is this. We have the same rights and abilities. We have the same opportunities allotted to us. We are living in America, home of the free. We have freedoms. We have liberties here. We are able to go out and we can, we can, we can establish our own businesses. We can purchase our own homes. We can buy our own vehicles. We can have good paying jobs. We can do all of these things. We can leave inheritances for our children and our children's children. We can do these things. But what has happened is we have been enslaved in our mind. We have the process. We have, we have processed the mindset of handout. Handouts and, 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 and government assistance. What really bothered me yesterday was when I heard a man ask the president, he was black, and he said, this, these were his words, he said, what are you going to do for the black Americans? And, and I'm going to paraphrase what, Trump's, what Trump said. He said, you all have the same opportunities as we have. What, what in the world, why, why would you sit here and look and ask the president, and you know you 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 are well capable. You are well able to get off of your behind and go and do something for your life, do something for your family, your children. You asking him for a handout? What do you mean? What is he going to do for the black American? As if we are the only race of people in this country. And you got other people, other races in this country that come together and they build their their uh, 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 communities. The Chinese have come into our communities and, 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 and bought up some properties and they have their restaurants and they have this and that, their little Jew stores and all this, and they're making profits off of us in our own community. And you mean tell me we can't get high off of our black behinds? We can't get up off of our butts and go out there and create wealth for ourselves? We can't do that? We can't support each other? We can't come together and, 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 and strategize? We can't do that? We, we, we can't do that, but we got to wait on handouts from the government, and we got to ask the president, what is he going to do for our communities? What do you mean? You in your own community, what are you going to do? What are you going to do for your community? What are you going to do for your community? It makes no sense to me that we have this mentality. That's why so many of us, and I'm not negating this, that's why so many of us have food stamps. That's why so many of us are, are on the government assistance, the welfare system. This is it, another way to enslave us, to say that you're not smart enough to go out there and find a job, so we're going to help you. We're going to give you a little money, a little, here, a little allowance here and there. We're going to help you. We're going to provide food for you. We're going we're gonna to allot, allot you with, with these things. 
But don't you know that they can they can strip this? They can they can take it away from you, and you would be without if they had their way. So if the government controls you, then you know they can control how much they give you. But if you have your own, you will have control of your own. You feel what I'm saying? Do you do you see the scenario of events? Do you do you understand what is being done to you? It's still a form of enslavement when you can sit here and think that government and, and all of these corporations and these businesses are gonna just just uh, uh, be allotted to you. That, that they're they're just going to cater to you and you know and you just sitting on your behind at home. I ain't talking about everybody. But you're sitting down and you're just waiting on them to give you something. Really? Well, all this time, you know, we were in quarantine. We've been in quarantine. I know you hear the noise in the background. We've been in quarantine. There's so many creative ideas people have been doing lately that I have seen. And I said, wow, this is amazing. But then you have, the, you have these core group of people, you know, this certain percentage of people. They're just waiting on the government. Well, whenever they give me their check, that, that, that stimulus check, I'm waiting on that second stimulus check. I'm waiting on the unemployment. A lot of folks still waiting on the unemployment. But as you're waiting, what are you doing? What are you doing with your hands? What are you doing? What, what is being allotted to you? Do you, you, you see what I'm saying? And I know some people have lost jobs. I know things have happened. But that, that's neither here nor there. Because what I'm saying is this, we are so resilient as a black, Amer as black Americans, we are so resilient until, you know what, we can create things. You know why I know this? Because we have been enslaved for so many years. We have been able to make it even in the process of going through enslavement, the slavery period. So I know that we can do these things. I know that we can, we, we have abilities to do stuff. So I'm not going to shortchange myself. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here twiddling my thumbs thinking that, you know, what can I do? What can I do? Now, yeah, handouts are good for those who you know they, they are uh, disabled and then you know that they have needs and, and, and those types of things. I do, I do understand that. There are people out here that actually cannot do for themselves. Most of them are in the disability category. Most of them uh, cannot do for themselves. They can't. They can't. They can't do anything. So I, you can't expect them to work. But those that are well able, you know, you know who I'm talking to now. Don't 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 patronize me. Don't 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 do that to me. Those who are well able, walking around on the streets doing crazy crap, shooting and killing folk and doing all this stuff, and then you want to turn around to me and say, "What are you gonna do for the black community?" Well, it looks like you need to be doing something putting that gun up or something, going finding you a job. Come on now. Working on building up your communities instead of tearing them down with these drugs and all this crime. We need to do better. We need to do better. We need to stop complaining about what somebody doing to us. Ain't nobody's doing anything to us when we have these opportunities to do things for ourselves. Nobody's doing anything to you. Stop playing this blame game, shifting blame, and th that's what these political parties want us to do. Sit here and blame the other party for what they haven't done. Oh, you know, the coronavirus and the president, he, he allowed all this stuff to happen at this time and, and kill all, all the black people. Well, you, let, me, let me tell you about that part, too, now. Some of us, we just don't listen. They already think we're ignorant, stupid, retarded, and don't know nothing. And then we just can't follow rules. They already know that. Come on now. A good majority of the, of, of the reason why a lot of things that have occurred is because we don't listen. We don't listen. Now, yeah, yeah, we have found, we found it out a little late. Yeah, and, and, and things start spreading, spiraling out of control. But as soon as we got the memo, we should have been taking proactive measures. A lot of folk hadn't been doing that now. Now, that's on both sides of the fence, white and black. But as far as us, and I have seen it too many times. You go in the store, they, they standing right behind you. You're supposed to be six feet away. No mask on, all this kind of thing going on, this foolishness. We got to do better. We have got to do better. 
No time for this. This handout mentality. This you waiting on somebody to do for you. You better do for what you better do what you can for yourself. Because when stuff starts shutting down, when 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 shortages, food shortages, and all this stuff start happening, what are you gonna do? If that occurs, what are you going? What are your plans? You think the government? You think the government gonna gonna bail you out? You 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 waiting on the bailout system? Is that that's all you thinking about? A bailout system? Well, you know they going they gonna be the one. You putting all your faith and trust in the government? You better get you some Jesus in your life. You better get God in your life. You better ask Him to direct you. You better ask Him to show you what you need to do. Because this stuff is ridiculous. This is ridiculous for us. We got to do better. We are a strong group of people. But we're not showing that. We're not demonstrating that. Only The way we're demonstrating that, that is this. We acting ignorant. We are acting ignorant. That's how we're showing ourselves up. So we, we got we, 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 we to do better. We got to do better, y'all. We got to support our black Americans. We got to support our black people and our communities and what they're doing. We got to stop being jealous of each other and trying to compete against one another. We can all make it to the top, but if we're not working together, how are we going to get there? If we don't work together, how are we going to get there? Answer that question for me. Inbox it. Answer, answer that question. I just need to know. Now, y'all, I know I have went on a rant. You know, I just <laughs> kind of stirred up about this thing. But this, this is serious. This is an issue that we are going, we are facing. We have been facing for years. And it seems like we have not grasped the concept of what is actually going on. You know, we still sleep. We don't need to be asleep. This is not an hour for us to be asleep. You better get up. You better get out here. And you better do something. Because those that are in power and position, you think they're concerned about you? You think they're concerned about your family and, and the food on your table and, and the fact that, you know, you got a roof over your head and a vehicle to drive? You think you, they, they have theirs because some of them were privileged, okay? They were privileged to get what they have or to have what they have. But see, those that are privileged, you know how they feel about People that don't have, they, they think you lazy. They think you sorry. They think that you can you, why would I give them my inheritances? Why would I give them my money? You see what I'm saying? They don't have no interest in trying to help build you, your community. What about your community? They want to get rid of your community. That's what they want to do. The more of them, the more of us they get rid of, the less they have to deal with. And then they can just, all the other rich white friends and whoever, they can hang out together. They're not concerned about you. They're not concerned about me. It never was really a concern about you. But we need to be concerned about one another. We need to be building up one another in our communities. I'm telling you now. Now this message is going to ring true for some people and some people are going to listen and they're going to take heed to it. Some people are actually doing it. I applaud you. You keep up the great work. Let's, let's go out there and promote and motivate and inspire other people to do the exact same thing that you're doing. But if we don't band together, if we don't come together, our generations are going to be messed up. We're going, we're going to be messed up because this world is changing. Me and my husband talk about how many, how, many, how many changes are taking place and we don't even see it because it's invisible. There's some things going on in the climate and environment. Things are changing. You, you can sense it. If you're spiritual, you can sense this stuff. But we got to wake up and we got to realize that we... If we want to continue to thrive, continue to grow, we better start thinking in terms of building up our communities, building up one another. Because guess what? If we don't do it, nobody else is going to do it. You think the Chinese trying to help 
build your community, your black communities up. No, they're trying to make a profit off of you, your communities, because that's where they, what they're doing. They're coming into your communities and they're establishing their businesses. Come on now, wake up, wake up. You think Jewish, the Jewish people are concerned about the black Americans, black community? You think that the Mexicans and all these info, you think they're concerned about your communities? You better wake up. You better wake up, smell the roses, the coffee and everything else. Smell them donuts, Krispy Kreme donuts. You better wake up. Let's be about the business. Now, let's not just talk this thing. Let's walk this stuff out. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's encourage one another to do it, to make it, to prosper. I know you can. I know you can do it. I know you are capable. I know you're able. And y'all, this is our Wild Wednesday. Stop looking for all these handouts. Handouts, handouts cripple you. Handouts disable you from going out here and really realizing your true potential. Really tapping into your true potential. That's what handouts does to you. That's what handouts do to you. Instead of you looking for the handout, you should be giving out handouts. Position yourself to give out handouts. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Put Walmart and these other folk out of business. Create your own types of businesses within your own communities. Come on, we can build our communities up. We can become that black Wall Street. We can do that. We have some creative minds in our communities. We don't need nobody coming down from, from New York and, and, and coming down from all these different places and buying up our properties. When we can buy up our own properties. All right, y'all, I have preached, teached, and reached enough, but I think you grabbed the concept of what I'm saying. This is tough love, but if I didn't love you, I wouldn't even be talking like this. I wouldn't even be concerned. So, y'all, this is our Wild Wednesday. You all be blessed. Take some of this word to heart. I hope, I hope that it has ministered to you in some way. But y'all, have a blessed day on this beautiful